In this video, I'm going to give you a condo market update for Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And if you stay tuned until the end, I'm going to tell you about a unit back behind me in the Ocean Reef that's grossing over $104,000 just last year in gross rental income. Let's get after it right now. Condo market inventory is up tremendously. Now, two years ago at this time, February, you had a 0.6 month supply of condo inventory on the market. That's an 18 day supply of inventory. Now that's a very low number. Two years ago at this time, if you'll recall, the real estate market was nuts. It was burning hot. Interest rates went up and condos began sitting on the market much longer. Now last year at this time, there was a 2.3 month supply of inventory on the market. The market currently is considerably softer. Condo inventory is at a 4.6 month supply currently. Now keep in mind in our market, there are certain complexes that are just simply hot. Buyers are waiting for units to go on the market and as soon as they hit the market, those units are sold. Now, why are so many oceanfront condo owners selling their units? Well, if they bought their units post COVID, we're talking only four years ago, they've seen a tremendous amount of appreciation and most likely have a decent amount of equity in those units. Now, there are some instances due to insurance cost increases in our market where sellers are selling because they're filling that pinch. Be sure to check out our other video on oceanfront condo insurance increases. Now, what does this mean for you as the investor looking to buy an oceanfront condo? Well, there's lots of competition on the market and there's lots of competition that starts to, to drive prices down. Now, our market is a resort market and does seem to be a little bit more resilient on those prices, but there very well could be with a solid and professional agent helping you uh, sellers out there that you can locate and find and haggle them down on that purchase price. All right, well, you waited for it. Now we're here at the end. Let's talk about the unit in the Ocean Reef, the building right back behind me that's grossing over $104,000 in gross rental income. All right, guys, the unit's bringing in $104,400.12. Now, if you, the way to make these numbers work, guys, is to use an off-site property manager, especially a company like Evolve. Evolve only charges a 10% property management fee. You need to find a property manager that's gonna charge you around 10% in order to make it work, in order to make those numbers work so that you're profitable on it. In my experience, that's one of the few ways that you can get these numbers to be profitable. Now, with a 10% property management fee, you're looking at paying out $10,440.01. That brings you to a subtotal off the gross rental income of $93,960.11. Now, if you're using financing, you're probably looking at a 30 year loan. You know, you're gonna pay at least 20 or 25% down. If you're a first time, uh, if you're a first time investor, you're gonna pay it probably 25% down. If you're not, you're probably going to pay about 10%, excuse me, about 20% down. Um, and that's going to, uh, over the course of that year at, at 9% interest rate, that should bring you somewhere to around $47,436. So that's $47,436 that you're going to be paying in principal and interest. Now, the, the tax, the, the latest taxes that we have according to the courthouse retrieval system, these are back in 2020, puts you at paying $5,316.35. Now, all that said, guys, that purchase price when this property was bought was probably a few years ago, if not 10 years ago or something. So those taxes are calculated in large part on that assessed value, what the assessor assesses that property's value at. When you purchase the property at this new and most likely higher rate than last time, it is going to be reassessed and those taxes are going to increase. So we're using our best guess for right now. We've got it at 
and 35 cents as of 2020. Now, your estimated insurance cost on, uh, on, on a lot of units here, uh, oceanfront condos, you'll find that they don't always, in the HOA fees, include HO6 insurance. That's the insurance where you know, you want to cover the personal items that you have in the condo because you are renting the condo out to tenants. We've got an estimated $2,000 worth of insurance, you know, HO6 that you might be paying. It very well could be cheaper. And then finally, you have those annual HOA dues. So for the year in HOA fees on this particular unit, you're paying $31,080. Now that brings your subtotal to 8,000, excuse me, to $85,832.35 for your expenses, including your mortgage, your principal and interest, your taxes, your annualized HOA fees, and your insurance cost. Now, if you take the $93,960.11 that you made post or after your property management fees are paid and taken out of that gross rental income, you minus your expenses of $85,832.35, you are left profitable on this unit at $8,127.76. So another major caveat I want to throw out here, guys, is if you are a cash buyer on this property, you, I mean, you're looking at, you know, somewhere around $55,000 that you would be making roughly approximately in profit on a unit like this right here at the Ocean Reef. If you found this information at all helpful, please hit that like button hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos that are coming at you, bringing you helpful and useful information on properties right here uh, in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina.